They say the lion is king of beasts, but is he alone? There are 41 species of cat, the embodiment of feline grace and power, spectacular top predators that command our respect. But who is top cat, the one to rule them all? To start, let's consider what it is to be a cat. Ranging from pussy-sized wildcats, a mere five kilos, to the three and a half meter, 300 kilo Siberian tiger, there are special traits that set them apart. To help with their agility, cats have elongated, flexible spines. Essential if you're going to take a dive. And long tails that help them balance on high-speed turns. though the lynx family manages without very much at all. Cats are secretive, solitary, ambush predators. Their success lies in their technique. Killer claws are attracted so the cats can stalk silently on padded feet. Tried and tested hunting methods unite the family. Crouch unseen. Stalk within range. And strike. Finally, the kiss of death from dagger-like teeth. Cats usually work alone, but there are exceptions. Lions don't just ambush. They combine their skills to set a trap. Flankers get into position. Others go behind to drive the herd. The trap is set. Frightened zebras run from their attacker, but straight into the flankers. The cheetah has a different strategy. It's a sprinter. More dog-like in its long-legged anatomy, it can't retract its claws. They are not the sharp meat hooks of other species. Instead, worn spikes that help it grip the ground. And it's not difficult to see why it would need them. With top speeds of over 100 kilometers per hour, it's the fastest of all land animals.
Like the lion, the cheetah has a trait that sets them apart from other cats. It's not uncommon to see them in groups. Bands of young males, often from the same litter, forming what is called a coalition. When they are just starting out as adults on the plains, having company gives them more elbow defending a patch. Two young trespassers are in trouble. The brothers are six times more likely to be able to secure a territory than a single male. With backup from a bro, a cheetah also has a better chance of scoring a date. These three litter mates have surrounded a female, penning her in against the bushes. All will help keep her here until she's ready to mate though it's likely that only one brother will father her offspring. The territory of male cheetahs overlap with several females, so there will be other chances for the brothers to breed. It's a typical cat strategy for the males to have very large territories that incorporate a number of female home ranges. The South American Puma's home range may be a whopping 700 square kilometers or more, three times bigger than the females, which means the tom must do a lot of walking. And in the Andes, over quite a challenging terrain. While some must contend with mountains, others have to negotiate dense jungle. In the Amazon, there is only one top cat. Large territories mean the male cats, like this heavy-set jaguar, must be always on the move, patrolling their perimeters, checking up on their ladies, and making sure no other toms are trying to muscle in on their patch. At first glance, the cats are following invisible boundaries, but they have their own special methods of staking land claims. At regular and prominent points around the borders, the male cats scent mark. Urine carries important information, like a message board that others can read. It says how many animals are present and how fit and healthy they are. The message to other males is clear. This spot is taken. Keep out. In the Amazon rainforest, love is in the air. When a female is ready, the male will escort her for several days so they can mate repeatedly. It's hard to tell if the she-cats are enjoying themselves. The males have barbs on their penises that scrape their insides. She often seems unhappy with the sensation. But it's believed this scratching may trigger ovulation and ensure a successful mating. When it comes to libido, the lion really is the king of beasts.
This big boy can put out every 20 minutes. You might think these lovers would be exhausted after such a mating marathon, but think again. Day and night, the studs at it. When the lioness is in season, they may mate up to 40 times a day for three or four days in a row. The ultimate example of feline stamina. If having pack mates makes you uncat-like, the lion is one species that moves the cat clan onto a new level. The ultimate pack hunter. Lions form prides, centered around related females and their offspring. The larger males take over and try to retain exclusive access to the girls. There may be just one male or a male coalition who take over a group of five to 30 lionesses. Being social means that lions have multiple mothers to protect and raise their young. And of course their combined strength means they can tackle some pretty big prey. Thanks to their adaptability, the Cat Clan have conquered the world. This young jaguar will grow up to be the top predator in the Amazon. From steamy, lush rainforests to frigid mountain tops, cats are everywhere. At nearly 600 meters above sea level, the puma still finds rich pickings from the herds of native guanaco, a wild relative of the llama. The cats of dense woodland can be secretive and hard to spot. The wild cat's stripes help it to blend into the shadows. While the Great Plains offer a wealth of prey animals, if you are big enough to tackle them. Each landscape brings new challenges, including changing seasons. Some species must move with the time of year, trailing the migration of their prey. But it can be hard to keep up with the herds. So others sit it out, using their thick coats to survive the bleakest snow. The Siberian tiger's winter often drops to 30 below. Walking in old footprints speeds his passage. And there's another specialist in the northern forests. 
The lynx has huge snowshoe-like feet so that it can even stalk deer. Their compact hooves sink deep into the snow. One roe deer wasn't fast enough. The wildcat's acute hearing picks up the sounds of prey even mice beneath the snow. With sharp claws, virtually nothing is out of reach. Hunting is at the core of being a cat. The feline's family has invented different body forms for different hunting strategies. The size and build of each species determines its target. For the more petite members of the family, the prey is small and sneaky. For the biggest, virtually anything can be on the menu. For a 200 kilo Bengal tiger, a 300 kilo Sambar deer is easy prey. Plant eaters, deer, antelope, zebra, these are the standard fare for many big cats, but some species specialize in more challenging prey. Meals that can bite back. One of the toughest hunters is the elegant jaguar. Pound for pound, it's the strongest of big cats, stocky and muscular. And with its preferred prey, it's easy to see why this pussy needs muscle. Caiman feature surprisingly high on the big cat's menu. But even the ancient reptiles are fast and alert. Getting within striking range requires stealth and patience. With his plan foiled, he tries easier, more typical prey. With his rosettes of spots, the jaguar disappears in the dappled shadows of the forest. But the pig-like peccaries are super alert. So he tries the riverbanks and the capybara, the world's biggest rodent. Only half his hunts will be successful, and like other predators, he must adapt to whatever feeding opportunity he can find. 
Hunting these crocs is not without risks. Those toothy jaws can slam shut with over 900 kilos of pressure. But still the hunter persists. He must disable the huge reptile before it has the chance to bite. The jaguar's long canine teeth try to pierce the thick, leathery skin, attempting to damage the spine and push the croc down to drown it. Anything he can do to weaken his deadly dinner. After the titanic battle, the exhausted cat still isn't in the clear. He must drag the 100 kilo caiman before any of the crocodile's kin come to investigate. A huge effort, but finally, the big cat will eat well. Back to the cheetah family, and mum needs to hunt. It is not easy to hunt with cubs in tow, but a quick call and the cubs know to sit aside and wait. The pressure's on. The success of the hunt could dictate the fate of the entire family. Because of their light build, cheetahs do have size limits on their prey base, favoring the delicate Thompson's gazelle. Only around half of attacks result in a kill. The bachelor boys, of course, have numbers on their side. They stalk the herd, moving the wildebeest around while they select a target, an animal with any sign of weakness. Even the biggest cheetah weighs only 70 kilos, a third of the wildebeest's bulk. It will take all three brothers to bring it down. Once subdued, a cat characteristic suffocating bite to the throat will finish it off. A single cheetah could never manage a kill of this size. The mother cheetah must try again, only with slightly lower ambition. Gazelles are fast and with stamina. She can only sprint over short distances, so must get close. Nought to 95 in three seconds.
Now the kids are allowed to come and sample the dish of the day. It's very fresh. A sad loss for the gazelle herd, but cheetahs have got to eat. Whether predator or prey, life is a constant battle on the African plains. In the bushes, another cheetah mother has much younger cubs, just a few days old. It's a tough challenge to grow up in the cat family. There is a lot of learning before a kitten can become the ultimate killer. At birth, all cats are pretty helpless. Small litters of blind, wobbly kittens is the norm. After 10 days or so, their eyes are open and limbs stronger, but are still totally dependent on their mothers for food and protection. However, young cats grow fast. It'll be two months before they are old enough to join their mothers on hunts, but already they practice on each other. Contrary to the cat's solitary reputation, the bond is strong. At this age, nothing can drive the family apart. Though boisterous kittens are a handful to all species of cat, As they grow and get more sure on their feet, kittens start to play, the perfect way to hone their skills. Wrestling and chasing improve their coordination and ability to judge distance. All this activity will encourage the cat's basal instinct to hunt. Though it will take a bit of practice. And for all cats, kittenhood's a very dangerous time. They say it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, but cats can be pretty mean to each other as well. It's instinctive for one predator to want to get rid of another, to remove the competition for food. So when lions pick up the scent of our cheetah's cubs, it means serious trouble. The cubs must lay low. The lions scour the scrub for the litter. There is little their mother can do. The lions are almost three times her size. She's powerless.
Bravely, she decoys the lioness, trying to draw her from the cubs. She doesn't have the lion's bulk, but she does have speed on her side. The plan seems to be working. She draws their attack. Two kittens make a dash for cover. But for one, it's too late. The lioness doesn't want to eat the cub, just get rid of the competition. Only one in 20 cheetah cubs make it to adulthood. 70% are killed by lions. It's a blow to the cheetah family, but thanks to the mother's bravery, two have survived. With most species of cat, the father is nowhere to be seen during a kitten's kittenhood. Of course, the exception is the lion. With his bulk, he can protect his family from most dangers, except perhaps another lion. A rival male would want to get rid of the genes of his predecessor, encouraging the females to have his babies instead, even if it means killing cubs. Luckily, this male's managing to hold on to his throne. As the kittens mature, their lifestyles will change, starting with their diets. For the first six months or so, all cats are dependent on their mother's milk. But today, instead of dishing up milk, the mother lynx calls to her cubs. She has the remains of a deer she's buried. It's time for the cub's first taste of meat. As well as a change in taste, there is a change in appearance. Lion cubs have faint spots when they are younger to help them blend into the grass. As they get older, these will fade, the sandy coats of the adults being ideal camouflage on the dry grass plains. Cats are masters of camouflage. Spots or stripes, they have the unique ability to vanish ideal for getting close to their prey. The mother puma has spotted a baby guanaco, an easy target. But this time, she doesn't kill her victim. Instead, she calls in her cubs. There is a lot to master in the art of death. The mother won't help. Only if the cubs can figure it out will they get to feed. A cruel death, but vital to the young cubs' training. Already, the cubs are squabbling over the kill, a sure sign that they are almost ready to graduate from predator school. The cubs have some great tools to get them started. All the cat's senses are fine-tuned. Radar ears, sniffer dog noses, and above all, eagle eyes.
In fact, their eyes are so sensitive they can hunt under the cover of darkness. And cat's eyes are uniquely suited to absorb what little light is available, intensifying it so that they can see better than their prey in the dark. It's so dark, only thermal images reveal their skills. Even faint moonlight is enough to hunt by. Despite the limitations of light, lions are still able to organize a coordinated attack. The prey's eyesight is far weaker. But a feisty zebra can fight back. The lions don't give up. Twilight is the perfect time to hunt. With their sensitive eyes, the cats have a clear advantage. But not all conditions are conducive to their bloodlust. A general rule of the cat world is to avoid water. For the most part, they don't like being caught out in the rain. There's great enthusiasm when the downpour ends, grooming to dry off their fur. But there is one cat that likes water, even specializing in aquatic prey. And in the rain-drenched forests of the Amazon, it's just as well. For the jaguar, the waterways are the perfect place to stalk its prey. As big as pigs, the capybara is a supersized guinea pig. But living in family groups, they are wary. Many pairs of eyes look out for danger. They hug the riverbanks, ready to dive for cover in the water if danger threatens.
Even in the water, the predator's deadly. The young capybara didn't stand a chance. Hunting can be made harder by busybody neighbors. Giraffes spy on a lion hunt. The pride fans out, surrounding a small group of zebra and wildebeest on the marshes. Surprise will be the key to their attack. Their cover blown, the lions make a last ditch attempt. The nosy neighbor better watch its step. And then, when kills are successful, there is always someone wanting to share in your fortunes. Vultures have the sharpest eyes on the savannah and it's never long before there is a queue for dinner. Mother and cubs can cope with the squabbling vultures, but there is another uninvited guest who makes them more nervous. With bone-crushing jaws, the spotted hyena would make short work of the cheetah family, so mum ushers them to safety. Without retractable claws, cheetahs are not the best climbers, but blessed with cat agility, they get out of harm's reach. The hyena crashes the vulture's party, and the cheetah can lead her cubs to safety. are committed mothers, but the time must come for every kitten to fly the nest. And mum's not exactly subtle in encouraging them out of the door. The wild cat has caught a rat, but her five-month-old kits are in for disappointment. No more mooching off mum. It's time to leave home. For young cats around the world, this is the moment to strike out, find new territory, avoid bigger, older competitors, refine their hunting skills. A coalition of cheetah litter mates look for an easy first target.
warthogs are surprisingly agile. Try again. There's an ostrich family nearby. But it's well guarded by a two meter, 140 kilo angry bird. Time for some teamwork. One of the cubs decoys dad. while his brothers sneak around the back. These young cheetahs are top cats in the making. Though all cats are different, they are runners, water lovers, or party people. They all have a lot in common. The family shares elegance, agility, strength, heightened senses, luxurious coats, silent feet, and the killer instinct. And although they are top predators, we have let all of these traits into our homes. Even the domestic cat exhibits these spectacular characteristics. So which of these moggies has what it takes to be a top cat? The giant tiger, the powerful jaguar, speedy cheetah or socialite lion? Each has its own niche in which it excels, exhibiting the traits that make cats great, but each with a little spin of its own. Perhaps to be top cat, just being a cat is enough. <laughs>